Well, to this day, I still don't know how to start a video and I still have no idea what I'm doing. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> okay. I'm on my way to go skate for the first time in like probably three months. I actually can't believe that that much time has passed since I've put on a pair of roller skates. Every time I go long breaks between roller skating, every time I put them on again, I feel like I am starting all over again. I keep dropping my camera, so I'm just gonna pick up the camera again when um, I get to the rink and I, I'll be right back. <laughs> Songs in my bed about you. It's been so long since I've been here. I'm just gonna warm up a bit. I don't know what I'm doing. No, it's <laughs> it's Friday morning actually. My internet is supposed to be down for the next hour or so and I can't start my work right now. I decided that since I wasn't gonna be able to work that I would grab a breakfast burrito. Check out this burrito. It's got bacon, eggs, and cheese in it, I believe. So I just got home from the gym. And I have a ton of PR packages that I need to open. First box is actually from work, um, just like a welcome gift from my new job. For those that don't follow me on Instagram, I guess I can kind of announce it now. I work for um, Taste of Home, the magazine, and Taste of Home is owned by trusted media brands. They own Reader's Digest, Family Handyman, and Taste of Home, and a bunch of other magazines. And they sent me this cute little gift, a water bottle, notebook, and a notepad. My official title is Associate Producer for Taste of Home Socials, so that is a new job. Um, I think this is the first time I'm kind of officially announcing and explaining what my new job is. But anyways, so I just got this package from Liquid IV. A bouquet of fresh flowers. They sent me a packet of the watermelon flavor Liquid IV. This is actually one of my favorite flavors. Flowers speak louder with words. Celebrating all mothers and mother figures near and far today and always. Be sure to check out the back of the bouquet for a refreshing treat. Love your Liquid IV family. Thank you so much, Liquid IV. They smell so nice too. Oh, 
thank you so much liquid iv family i'm about to promote another code if any of you are interested in anything from liquid iv use code linda25 for 25 percent off plus free shipping at liquid iv so i have been told that these two packages are both from quest nutrition oh my gosh so this box in itself you guys have never tried the protein chips you need to try them they sent me a package of six of their flavors i i'm genuinely this is just the first box oh my gosh okay chocolate chip cookie dough minis crispy cookies and cream flavor cookies and cream minis crispy blueberry cobbler crispy chocolate peanut butter crispy chocolate caramel pecan crispy chocolate coconut but wait, there's more. Peanut butter cups, I have not tried any of these. And then they also have cookies. I think these are the new ones. They have frosted cookies, the chocolate cake flavor and birthday cake flavor. And then on top of that, they also sent me three flavors of their protein shakes. Um, they have chocolate, salted caramel, and vanilla. Thank you so much, Quest Nutrition, for sending me all of this. I. I'm speechless to say the least. Um, let's just say that I've stocked on protein for life. I can't believe that I just received so many of these products. I'm genuinely shocked right now. Um, I need to take a second to just take this all in. I can't, I'm speechless. I, I really ran out of words to say, but I'm just gonna cut the clip here. It's the end of the work week. It's the end of the work day. It's really hot today and I just decided to grab an ice cream cone. Right now, I'm about to head out the door and I'm gonna go pick up Jenny. We're gonna go visit Melanie and Jimmy at their new place and then Jenny and I are gonna go grab Shabu for dinner. Why we decided to pick Shabu on such a hot day, I don't know, but we were craving it, so uh, we're gonna get what we want. <laughs> Sunday now and I'm getting ready to go out. I'm gonna spend the day in OC today. I'm going to grab lunch with one of my college friends. After lunch, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop to get some editing done. And then I'm going to meet up with some of my friends to roller skate during sunset at the beach. But I figured I would give a tiny update as I get ready before I head out for the day.
try. This shit come easy when I'm with my slimes. Yeah, pop a bean, keep my system clean. Been drinking water, be like kerosene. Caught you busting the move. I'm just sauce like and stupid. Love this hide on the cupid. I'm with my dogs, yeah, we groove. And four on the floor, that's a drug I'm abusing. Show you the grass is green or whatever it is. Your feet on music, bumping out the speakers. I can't help but get this feeling. I can't help but get this feeling. I can't stop but get this feeling. Got another package from Liquid IV, so I'm gonna open this up. I got an email and I saw on their Instagram that they actually have a, like a new flavor of, um, I think it's like a kombucha. I'm honestly so spoiled by Liquid IV. They have the cutest packaging. Ooh, it says a good gut feeling at every sip. And I was right, powdered probiotic kombucha drink mix in tart green apple. Wow, thank you so much Liquid IV. I guess I'm too strong. I just ripped off the top of this box. This video is not a sponsor, but I am very, very lucky to be on the PR list for Liquid IV, and I'm very, very thankful, and just, thank you. Good. Whoa. Sometimes I don't realize how tired or, like, how messy I look until I look at myself at the viewfinder of my camera. <laughs> But good morning. I've decided that instead of working from home today, I'm gonna go explore this, um, food haul that I've been meaning to check out for a bit. I'm not going for the food right now because it's 8 in the morning, but I'm gonna go check out the coffee and then I've been told that there's a place where you can get work done because there's Wi-Fi outlets there, so I figured I needed a change of scenery. been tired and I've been feeling a little bit cooped up just working in my room all the time, so I'm gonna go check that out today. I wake up, I don't wanna make my bed, I'll save up all my energy instead you take up all the energy I have inside And I can't find a way to just ignore it And I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind Stop running, never will I'll take some melatonin pills this time Cause I just wanna sleep too So it's just a random Tuesday evening I decided to go to work in the office today And I work out in LA I figured I'd go explore the area outside the office a little bit Because um, it just gives me a little bit of time to avoid the traffic on the way home And as I was driving around I think I noticed like a little farmer's market or something going on So I'm gonna go walk around and Explore a little bit. But I'm not ever wishing on a star Getting bags under my eyes Cause I've been staying up too late at night Just writing all my feelings out on this page Deciding whether I should just confess or hide it Tell myself it's for the best But either way I go, I know you're never gonna feel the same Coffee harder iced to get me through another lonely night. I wanna fall asleep, but I shouldn't fall asleep this time. I'm currently in an Airbnb in Long Beach for a few days because I just wanted to get away from home for a bit. I also wanted to do a little bit of a check-in on my mental health and just kind of how I've been feeling and where I've been lately. I kind of just felt like I needed a little bit of a reset. I would say in March and a little bit into early April, I was going through such a tough time mentally that I just felt like I couldn't be alone. I felt like I either had to be with someone or FaceTime someone or just talk to someone 24 seven just because I just wasn't feeling my normal self. With a lot of time and with a lot of therapy, I've been able to get through that and I'm currently in a much better space. Back in March and early April, I was constantly scheduling and filling my empty days and my empty time slots with just any sort of plans to not be by myself. I've gotten into the habit of that, but I'm not currently in that mental space where I constantly need someone with me and I constantly need to be with someone and I'm finally in a good mental place where I can be by myself and I feel comfortable being by myself that 
it's gotten to a point where I feel like I need some time for myself. I need some space, I need a break. And I just felt like going to an Airbnb for a few days and just being by myself, not making any plans, not hanging out and just focusing on work, focusing on myself and just sitting in silence is exactly what I wanted and exactly what I needed. So I'm kind of just doing this as a little bit of a reset. Honestly, it's really nice to finally be back in that mental headspace where I'm comfortable being by myself and I'm comfortable spending time alone and spending time by myself and just enjoying my own silence because when I lost that feeling of being comfortable being by myself, it was definitely, I'm sure it was draining on all of my friends that I had to you know, constantly reach out to, but also it was draining on me because my social battery was just completely depleted after that. I honestly don't want to spend too much of my time filming the Airbnb, filming myself while I'm here. I really do want to just enjoy this time by myself and not worry about vlogging. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little check-in of my mental health in between the vlog just to kind of let y'all know where I am right now. <laughs> from my little getaway. That was definitely a much needed time away. I'm currently working from home, taking a little break. I'm eating this Quest cookie bar. These Quest cookie bars are so good. They taste like cupcakes. I don't know how many times I've already said this to you all on YouTube, but I definitely am a big workaholic. If you didn't know, I currently work a normal nine to five and then I do YouTube as a career on the side. I don't even know if I can consider YouTube and Instagram content creating as a career, honestly, because I still do it more for myself than I do for any money or anything. I still like to just vlog and look back on the memories of all of the things that I've done. I mean, vlogging does take some time and work and editing takes even longer. I mean, I'm not the best editor, but clearly my videos aren't super special or anything, but it does take time to review footage like this and put it all together in a YouTube video. You know, when I'm not working my nine to five, I'm editing or working or working for YouTube. And I feel like sometimes I do overwork myself. And a part of me, even though I'm very happy to be in this work routine where I'm focusing on work and I'm focusing on, you know, myself and my, my priorities right now, I'm just wondering if I'm giving myself that grace and that time to also just enjoy my social life. The whole work-life balance phrase and just the whole idea of it, I mean, I know it's different for everyone and it looks different for everyone, but I feel like sometimes I'm all or nothing with things. So if I'm socializing and going out all the time, work is not my priority or if I'm diving into work, all I do is work. So I'm always just trying to find the good balance between the two and that's something that I still struggle with to this day. I don't know, I always just find myself thinking that there aren't enough hours in a day, there aren't enough days in a week, and time just goes by so fast. Honestly, I'm just rambling right now, so yeah.
So today is Memorial Day and I had the day off work so I decided to make this a me day. I woke up, I went to the gym and now I'm editing a vlog and when it gets to around 6 p.m. I'm gonna head to the beach and just go enjoy the sunset by myself. Watching the sunset is just one of my favorite things to do. I just get so lost watching the sun go down and you know as the sun goes down the sky just gets prettier and prettier and I don't know it just makes me happy and I'm just trying to do more things that make me happy. I have definitely gotten back into the groove of working out regularly but I'm still not comfortable bringing the vlog camera around because I am working out at a commercial gym again. It's definitely different energy trying to record yourself working out at a commercial gym versus at a private gym like when I was at Barbell Brigade so that's all I have to say. So I have a couple of more hours to edit before I head to the sunset so fingers crossed that the sunset will be a beautiful one today. I'll try, I'll try.